Yeah. Wow. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Live Simple. Live Free. We want to just share uh, working on the garden beds uh, today, getting them ready to go, and just some, oh, beautiful. Day. Beautiful sunny day. One of the first real beautiful days we've had this spring. It is stunningly gorgeous out here. <laughs> I love it. Yes, it's beautiful blue sky, um, just warm, little teeny bit of a breeze, so yeah. So we want to just talk about some garden and yard stuff and come, come along with us. Listen to the birds. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Bill's going to have to mow before too much longer. These um, roses that we very carefully pruned and fed and then there was nice rain. Oh, they're just leafing out beautifully. I'm excited. This one's got like the least leafing, but it's still coming out just fine. So, yep. <laughs> oh, it just couldn't be more beautiful today. A few more days, it's going to be April. I love this view right here. Even in the summer, it stays clear. And I can see my mountain in the distance. <laughs> Things are budding out. Oh, I got to go visit my trees. Whew, here we go. There's Lucy the dancing cow. Of course, I named her that because she's a redhead. This is one of our son's incredible sculptures that he makes. And I grew cucumbers on it last year. Got a few more little things to clear off and we'll be planting before too much longer. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I am almost as excited about this tree producing beautiful flowers in the spring as I am about it growing fruit. Oh, it's doing so well. If you look here, these are peaches. <laughs> I'm going to take that little tag off now. But oh, look at the flowers. I mean, not only am I excited that this will be growing peaches for us, but it's going to be one more beautiful flowering tree in my yard. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing really well, tree. The, but the blossoms are coming out and now the leaves are coming out. Seriously cool. <laughs> I can't really see myself, but uh, I want to do a selfie with my peach tree. <laughs> now my fig's looking just a little pitiful, but if I can get up, let me zoom, zoom this. That's not the right one. There we go. Let's see if I can get the, the place I want. At the tip of the little tree, there are buds coming out. And it had a strong root ball when we planted it. I still have very good hope that it's going to establish itself. Hey, little fig tree. Now this is a little slower than, this is the apple, it's Macintosh. Um, a little slower than the peach, but if you look here, there are little buds growing all over the branches. It's gonna be fine. And Barry is helping us treat it for cedar rust. Um, it's just now starting to bud, so it'll need another treatment. Apparently, if you have a cedar tree and an apple tree within a big distance, some distance of each other, you can get something called cedar rust. So we've got a, a natural organic treatment for it. But the apple tree is alive. It's coming. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord, for all this growth, for all my little blackberries that are going to come in. I feel like living here is a gift. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Under my budding out dogwood tree, I have this very lovely young lady just sitting and working on her homework. <laughs> but yeah, the dogwood's also really starting to bud. 
Moving dirt. Moving dirt. <laughs> Setting down dirt. Piling dirt. Yeah. Bring it with a wheelbarrow so you can put it in the garden beds. Thanks for all the hard work, hon. Those plastic bags are wet and they're slippery. Oh. Every time I try to grab it, it slipped out of my hand. Slip and dirt. Slip and dirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh>. Say bye. <laughs> I don't think I can be in enough places at one time to catch all the cuteness around here. Did you say about catching cooties? <laughs> no, I, did. I didn't say catching cooties. I said I, <laughs> I can't be in enough places to catch all the cuteness around here. Catching cooties. <laughs> oh, goodness. I thought you were trying to catch cooties. I generally try to avoid cooties. If, it, if you plant marigolds around the garden, it'll keep the cooties away? Yeah. Well, I, as long as it doesn't keep the cuties away. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> There's a woodpecker up there, and something's singing like crazy, and I love the soft sound of the chimes. Just a little bit of breeze. So these wonderful raised beds that Bill built for me have weathered beautifully. The, um, the uh, blocks have stayed straight and even. These wonderful lids, you know, the, the tops. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> These wonderful tops have stayed beautifully intact. So I am just thrilled to death with how well these work. Got my harvesting bucket here. Now, we had some neat surprises coming through this winter. These are my parsnips, and they suddenly just got real green again. And I'm gonna dig in there and see. I may have some lovely parsnips that wintered over. How amazing is that? So let's look down here and see what we've got. I'm gonna separate them. There is like nice big something down there. I'm gonna try to see if I can pull this one up. Oh my goodness, it's big. Woo! Oh my goodness. Mm. I had heard that parsnips do ah, really well here. Look at this thing. Yeah, they do really well in cold weather. My goodness, these are be just here. It's on, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. My goodness, these are beautiful. I think Bill's gonna have to get it up for me. Woo! Get out of the way here. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Is it still firm and good? I think so. Oh my goodness. I'm getting a spring crop of these great big parsnips. So how cool is that? Thanks for pulling that up, hon. I couldn't get it. Look at this. Can you get it? He's, yep. yeah. I love parsnips. This is going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to see what all I can pull up here, guys. I'll show it to you. Look at this. 
here and then there's another big one right there oh that's even bigger <laughs> this is like I don't know it's just like a treasure find I mean oh my goodness Bill's gonna have to help me get these up I can't begin to do it <laughs> I just think that's so cool my goodness here's another one monster wow Okay, we've gotten a lot of big ones out of here already, but I think uh, this is the granddaddy of them all. This is huge. Uh. I just kept growing over the winter. I'm glad Bill's here to do this. I would not be strong enough. Look at that parsnip. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not so big that it's not edible. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Yep. Oh my goodness. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> see a teeny tiny little one. And a teeny tiny little one. <laughs> okay. On. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Oh wow. There you go. Thank you, hun. My goodness. Look at that. Thank you, hon, for helping me with this. You know, there's a term called serendipity, which means that something wonderful happens that you were not planning on or expecting. I got a serendipitous bunch of parsnips here. Would you look at these? And you know, I think they're gonna be fine because potatoes can get really big and still be good and sweet potatoes can. But my goodness, these are just incredible. And they just, they, they did this over the winter. Anyway, guess what we're having for supper tonight? Some nice, fresh, dug-up parsnips. Uh, that was a treasure I did not expect to find at the end of March. <laughs> now, we're going to have to add some additional dirt here. And I expected that because we built these beds last year. And we filled them up with dirt. And, of course, dirt settles over time. And it's got a fair amount of dirt in it. So there was a certain amount of settling. Also, we made this, it was a hugel culture. We put uh, logs and branches and sticks and things like that underneath before we put the dirt in. The idea is that as that breaks down, it holds moisture and it also produces nutrients for the, for the food. But what also happens is the dirt settles by falling down inside of all of the cracks um, between all of the logs and the branches. So, I actually had this right up at the top of this level here and you can see how much it's dropped these are eight inch blocks so it's dropped maybe five inches or something like that so I'm gonna to have to put in additional dirt I expected that like I said I'll probably have to put in some more next year as well and then after that it'll probably pretty much settle out and it won't uh, it won't settle down much anymore after that well I think we're gonna to want to do a little bit of prep um, before we put the dirt in. Now, uh, we were talking to our daughter and son, and they're very good gardeners. And uh, Barry said there's kind of two trains of thought. One is that you want to just dig all the, the old uh, leftover plants and any potential weeds out, dig them out, ruffle all the dirt up, and it aerates it. But the other train of thought is that you try to, to unsettle this dirt that has now been building for a year as little as possible because there are there's a biome that's been developing in there there's like uh, healthy bacteria and stuff that's like working together in the soil and the layers and that can actually be very beneficial so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out anything that is gonna keep it you know that we can't bury with the dirt um, and then just let the rest of it just kind of be there and with, with the hoover culture on the bottom and all these layers of, of, just, of just the dirt that has been built um, here, I want to give it a chance and just try the idea of not disturbing it too much and kind of see how we do this year. So here, um, this kind of stuff, where it you know was growing, started growing up into the uh, cage, that that's got to come up because that's going to be too bulky to cover with dirt. 
and that's not hard. I'm trying to not disturb the dirt any more than I absolutely have to. Just getting some of the big on top things that are just going to stick up. There we go. Barry and Molly and the kids gave me these leather gloves for Christmas. Man, do I use them. Got them for Christmas a year ago, Christmas. And I think these, whatever they are, I, I'm sure it's some kind of weed, are going to be a little too big just to leave in here. I'm going to try to see if I can get them up. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I love these raised beds because if I was trying to do this from the ground, it would not be possible. Um, yeah, I need Mr. Muscles here. Good grief, I can't begin to get those up. Things like to grow in this garden bed, that's for sure. Isn't that incredible? Do you think if we just broke them off and buried well, uh, them? Uh, no, it's, the root is so big that it's not going to bury, it's going to just keep growing. And I can't, there are several of them here, but I can't get them out. I'm going to have to get a shovel and dig it out, unfortunately. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to buy more. Yeah. All right. Well, this is how we learn. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It might even be four feet. We'll have to see what happens when you spread them. Okay, so I thought I was going to use just two of those big bags of soil. It turns out I need three. Two just wasn't enough to cover it. So I'm using three bags of larger bags of soil and then these two small bags of compost. Now this soil already has an awful lot of compost in it. I didn't realize that when I bought it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mix these in. It's looking good though, hon. Yeah. I'm so excited. Nothing more, I don't know, just amazing than just good dark earth. I've been sending texts to everybody I can think of showing them my parsnips. <laughs> I just sat on one of the cushions there for the chair, sweetheart. Yeah. Discovered it was wet. Yeah, I guess so. It rained for a week. <laughs> so now, not only is the cushion wet, but I certainly am. <laughs> it's, it's a warm, beautiful day. <laughs> okay, dear one. I think we're good. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited. Now, see, I've basically brought it back up to the level where it was before. It's a little low right here, but most of it is right where it needs to be. Yep. Oh, it looks beautiful. These raised beds have worked perfectly. I'm so excited. So we have this one bed beautifully finished. We're going to finish the other three. 
make sure they're kind of cleared out just a little bit and put that beautiful soil on top. We're going to be getting more soil. Going to need to pick up some more. But right now, um, we're not 25 anymore, and I think we're going to rest for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to wrap this up just for now. Of course, we'll take you along as we go along with all of this gardening and springtime adventure. So God's good. Spring has come, and it's such an incredible time of new growth and warmth and beauty and life and all that good stuff. So, all righty. Well, listen, we love you guys. Live simple. Live free. You'll be blessed. Yes. And we will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>